Hello everybody and welcome to my quick tutorial on how to use WinZip. Uh, now WinZip is useful for sending documents in an encrypted fashion. Uh, it's similar to how you can uh, compress documents, uh, except it's got built-in encryption which is really useful uh, and quite a lot of companies use it as standard as their, this is how we want you to encrypt and send files to us or from us. So, uh, first thing you want to do is download WinZip, so uh, just search for it on Google. Uh, I will put a link in, but obviously I can't guarantee that the, the link will stay the same. Um, uh, and then we want to just go to the WinZip website uh, and then try it for free. Uh, we've got a free download for a little while. Uh, and then we just want to install it. We've got a little bit of a wizard. Agree to some terms. Uh, it will install it. Take a little while. Uh, so once it's got to that, it will be installed. Uh, and then we press finish. Uh, and it's pretty much done. Um, so now that's installed, uh, when we go into our files, uh, and we want to do some WinZip ones, uh, then we just want to use these right click options. Uh, you notice that I've also got this .rar one. Uh, it, there's a very similar one called WinRar that's pretty much the same as WinZip, but um, WinZip's the one that's used more professionally. Uh, so, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to select our files uh, and then we're going to go to WinZip uh, and then we're going to go to add to zip file uh, and then it's going to take a little while right sorry it just loaded up on a different bit of screen uh, so uh, here we get our examples so uh, we want to just put what we want our zip file to be so I'm going to call this tutorials uh, and then we've also got the option to change where we save it. So I'm going to save it to uh, Excel 2013. Uh, select the folder. Uh, we're going to encrypt the files uh, and you get to choose a type of encryption method. So you, sometimes some companies specify what type of encryption method they want. Um, uh, and then that's what we're going to do with that. We're going to put add. Uh, that's just a little helpful display uh, and then because we're encrypting it it's going to ask us to put a password in so I'm just going to put password password uh, and if we unhide it you can see that I've typed that in there press OK and then it's going to add it all in uh, it's going to tell you how it's been compressed and press OK uh, and then it's going to create us a file so we go back into here uh, you'll see we've got this tutorials little encrypted file down here and let me move this up a bit so at the other end once you've received the file you can, now we've got this you can kind of send it off to a uh, mail recipient or whatever or attach it to an email uh, when you receive it if you just double click on it uh, and I'm going to be using the evaluation version uh, and then hopefully it will come up soon there we go, uh, and we're going to untick show this next time because I don't need that every time. Right, so we're in our WinZip, um, and it's going to show us what files are in there. Uh, so you've got to make sure that your files don't give away what you're trying to keep secret. But if you ever try and do them, uh, uh, then it's going to ask for a password to decrypt the files. Uh, and if we put in our password, then it's going to allow us to open up our file. So this is a really safe uh, and secure way of sharing your files with other people. Obviously, it's, nothing's ever completely secure. People will still won't be able to get into it if they really want to. But it sure as hell is a far safer way of doing it than just password protecting your Excel document and then sending that or any document other than Excel as well. In this particular case, I'm doing Excel. You can actually put any documents in here at all uh, and group them all up in together into one password protected and encrypted. Uh, important bit is the encryption bit because that stops people from being able to easily just hack through the password. Um, and that's it. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, and thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.